today I'm here to share with you kind of a review, a little bit of a review, but mostly a demo of the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighters. There's three shades. I have two of them. I have Everglow Lights and I have Holographic Lights. These are the two that I have and I am super excited to show you guys these because I really do like these. A spoiler alert, I really do like these. And yeah, so I think we should just hop right in and get started. There are four different ones of these actually. There is one in Gold, Gold Addict, Moonlight, Moon Glow Lights, which is kind of like this one, but I think that's a little bit more pearly. Then they have Everglow Lights, and this one's a little more like of a neutrally white. The Moon Glow is really pink, and then the, um, they have the Holographic. It's retail for six bucks. And I think they have, they have one other kind of highlight called the Vivid Baked Highlighters. I have not tried those. I don't know if you can tell here in the swatches, but this one definitely is a lot more shimmery and has a very like a greenish undertone. It's not necessarily, like I'm looking in the mirror, it's not really holographic, it's a little bit more green. So kind of, but it's not like a bunch of different color colors holographic. And then the bottom one is really not that much of a, sh like it's not like a sparkly highlight, it's more of just like a glowy powder, which I feel like would be good for if you have a little more matured skin and you don't want like a sparkle highlight, but you want something there that's like a little bit lighter on your cheekbones, that would be really great. I'm gonna demo these, I'm gonna put the Everglow Lights, which is the more like pinky, just plain one on this side, and then I am going to be putting the holographic one on this side. Start with the Everglow Lights, which is the more pinky one. And I am just going to dip my brush here. They do kick up a lot of powder. I don't know if you can see that right now. Um, but if they're good, I don't mind. Okay, I'm just going to stick this on the top of my cheekbone. And I'm wearing no highlighter today, by the way. This one you definitely have to build. But once you get it to that point, it's really glowy and it doesn't even like when you swatch it it doesn't even look like it's going to be that glowy because it's just like more of like a matte kind of powder but it really does like show you some glow like you see that it does give you some good glow so after you build it up it's not necessarily like you dip, dip your brush in and you go and it's going to be like amazing highlight but like it does look good after you build it, like really good. Now I'm gonna go in on this side with the strobing one. So this one definitely has glitter in it and the other one doesn't. So really like it is powdery. I don't know if you can see that, but. This one, it packs a punch really fast. You see that, whoa. So this one definitely packs a punch really fast and I feel like I think the golden one might be like shimmery along with the other pink one. <laughs> Woo! Got a lot there. Um, that's thick. Holy cow. That one did not take very long to build up at all. So I'm gonna, let me turn my lights off here. Okay, yeah. Now you can see it. See, I turned my ring light off. Can you see that greenness? You can see it a little bit better. Pairing them side, to side by side, as you can tell, this side is gonna be, if you're like, say you're going to work or something and you don't want an intense highlight like this and you just want something a little bit more natural but you still want a highlight on your cheekbone, I think this is really great because it still gives you that effect. You can really build it up if you want to or you can just leave it natural like, or you can just like put it on a little bit. And then this one, if you want something really fun and I don't really, I've worn this a little bit to school maybe as like a topper but like, not just on its own. It looks really cool. So if you want something fun, definitely go pick this one up. And yeah, I kind of want to try the other shades now. I don't think, I think the golden one I wouldn't get, but the, like the, ever, the other ever kind ones would be really cool. I really do like these highlighters. I think they are really awesome and look, my hair is going crazy. I think they look really cool on your face. I think that Depending on the shade you get, you're going to get a different effect. These are really nice, though, and I do like this one. Even if I'm going for, like, the Everglow, if I'm going for just, like, a natural look, but I still want to highlight, I think it looks really good. And you can still build it up to make it intense. And then that one is hardcore intense. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. 
Hopefully it was helpful for you. If you would like to stick around and catch my future videos, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's a highlighter that is just like your absolute favorite that you would die without. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.